It's IBC 2022 and I'm here at the back of Hall 1 with Netgear. We've already spoken to Richard about uh, why uh, Netgear are here, what they're doing to help broadcast engineers. And now I'm here with Lauren. Hi, Lauren, to do uh, find out a little bit more about some actual products. Oh, thank you very much. So here it's all about the AV line of okay. uh, Manet Switches in Netgear. So we have three different product families, but the most famous uh, on this show is the M4250 line because the aesthetics is right for AV. You can have the ports on the back or on the front the way you like. Okay. They are all uh, black and they, are, they ship with a very intuitive yet powerful AV user interface okay. that is eliminating the complexity of IT configuration usually for AV protocols. And all these switches were introduced uh, two years ago with rack mount versions. Okay. What is fantastic on this show is that we are showcasing for the first time two new desktop versions right. that are really good, you know, outside of the rack in the conference rooms or a mobile studio behind the screen stitched under a table or a shelf. So these desktop new models are uh, very compact. The uh, uh, power adapter is outside of the switch. You still have eight PeeWee Plus ports for audio and video. Yeah. And the uplinks are either one gigabit Ethernet. It's good for Dante, AVB, AES67 or 10 gigabit SFP Plus Ethernet okay. for a video this time with NDI and like. Absolutely. Now, something I've noticed that there's no, there doesn't seem to be a fan hole. Is, is it? Is there so, a fan? In, in this direction? is um, a, a very good question, actually. You need to know that, first of all, uh, all the 4250 AV line switchers, uh, they have fans in the rack, but we have a software that is managing the fans. So even if a switch with fans can be shut down, uh, you know, you, you have a little bit less of power, but they are very quiet. The desktop new versions uh, don't have fans. That's true. This one is a 8 port with uh, 1 gigabit uplinks. You don't see any fans. So that's yeah. for sure hyper quiet. Now the 10 gigabit uplink version has fans, but okay. even with the full power of PeeWee, 220 watts, all ports used, thanks to this uh, fan management system in the EVUI software, the switch is uh, only doing 19.3 decibels. And between you okay. and me, even in a uh, typical show or studio, yeah, I mean, this is it's, you barely 60, can hear 70 it. here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And something that I, I, I was also asked to, 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 to ask about was prices, because, you know, I think these are quite well positioned in the, in the market. Abs absolutely. So um, pricing is, um, you know, uh, nicely um, done in such a way that, you know, we do respect the uh, street pricing for our partners because, yeah, uh, you know, for of pro course. professional AV and broadcast, we need margin in the channel. Because yeah, we have a lot of integration. Yeah. So there's absolutely no promotion, no e-com or, you know, spiraling down effects on the pricing. But to answer your question, the uh, M4250 AV line is very well priced for yeah. 1 gigabit and 10 gigabit. Largely under, you know, typical uh, uh, higher end or I should say enterprise class yeah, uh, okay. IT switchers that are very complex to configure. And very often that does, you know, quite less of a job for AV. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to give you uh, any pricing. No, right now, okay. but Maybe one example that that would one be worth it. Fine. One yeah. example for a uh, desktop switch yeah. uh, that is, you know, fully packed with a uh, 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 20 different profiles from uh -huh. AVB to Dante AS67 video, NDI, uh, with all the software and uh, this uh, hardware, you are just under uh, $700 straight. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, you know, fantastic pricing with support, fantastic support, uh, I, I, I believe, with, with interfaces that we in AV will understand. And uh, yeah, a great product, I'm sure. Yeah. Good luck. Yep. So now maybe I should profit from this opportunity quickly to say that, you know, the, the aesthetics, the hardware, the software you just said, the profiles, this, the, the profiles are the result of, you know, 200 different certifications with 200 manufacturers who tested 
uh, the, uh, the, the products and yeah. helped us uh, put together the configuration of the profile. But more than that, service and support is extremely important. So these switches come free with a full assistance from a team worldwide called the ProEV Design Team okay. that will help at any stage before, during, and after the installation. And maybe you want, as a conclusion, to know why, at the end of the day, why Netgear is now the most recommended switch line in the AV and broadcast industry. Well, that's very simple. In addition to the hardware, the software, and the support, we also have totally reinvented multicast IGMP. I know it's not a uh, funny topic. Okay. I know <laughs> that it's not going to make the news much, but multicast is very dangerous. Multicast uh -huh. can flood a network. Yeah. And IGMP is definitely easy to configure, but it was deficient for the past 20 years because the multicast is flooding to the center, to the courier of the network. Netgear re-engineered IGMP, called okay. it IGMP Plus three years ago, and all these switches contains multicast. So the multicast stay local. You have no flooding for audio and video. And that makes the big difference because instead of going to very fancy, complex layer three PIM configurations with okay. rendezvous points to contain the multicast better, all these switches come default out of the box with multicast contained on every switch. And therefore more reliable in the working environment. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Laurent. Now, keep an eye out for the other interview that I did with Richard here to find out more about general broadcast and netgear and uh for any other any other videos that we're doing at ibc 2022 please look up kitplus.com <laughs>